Hey, Aeroflow Sleep followers. It's Megan, your marketing coordinator for Aeroflow Sleep. And I'm back with Dr. Weiss for another segment of Weiss Words. Welcome back, Dr. Weiss. Thanks for having me, Megan. Hi, everyone. Of course. So we actually have a very interesting topic that I know zero about today. Really need a doctor's opinion on this one, but are sleep apnea and high blood pressure linked? Yes, they are linked. And I have to explain why they are linked. So first of all, what means sleep apnea, right? It means that during your sleep, the person is not having enough airflow going to the brain, to the lungs with the right amount of oxygen. What the brain does as a defense mechanism is making the person uh, choke or grasp for air and then wake up and change the positions to make sure that it has enough airflow going to the heart, into the brain, to the lungs, right? So that's one of the defense mechanisms that most people know about this one because it's very common to say, um, so-and-so is snoring or choking or gasping for air, it might have sleep apnea. This is the defense mechanism that we can see. The other one is the defense mechanism that we cannot see that in this one is associated with high blood pressure. What it does is that while we are snoring or grasping for air, the brain also triggers a response in the entire body uh, and into the heart also to make sure that the, the blood that is circulating with oxygen gets to the brain fast enough and that triggers high blood pressure. So obstructive sleep apnea and high blood pressure are very correlated and that's why it's so important to treat over, uh, sleep apnea. And that's how they diagnose you with sleep apnea, right? They use a sleep study. And if I remember correctly, it's uh, an apne, apnea hypopnea index. Try saying that five times fast. Yes. <laughs> um, and that AHI is registering how many times you stop breathing during the night. Is that correct? That's absolutely correct. That's how we do the sleep studies. And we have to see how many times the person is stopping breathing overnight. And in some cases, we can do that at home too. So don't be afraid of learning that you have to do a sleep study. We can do that at home and it's very important for your health. Thank you so much, Dr. Weiss. If you've never been diagnosed with sleep apnea before and you think that you have it, you or a loved one, please feel free to talk to your doctor about it or reach out to Dr. Weiss here about it. We can always connect to you and get a little bit more information if that's something that you're interested in. And then talk to Aeroflow Sleep and your Aeroflow Sleep Specialist. We can get your CPAP supplies covered up to 100% through insurance. Thank you so much, y'all. Thank you, I'll see you all later.